morning, children. How's everybody feeling today? Ah, springtime's coming. Whew, Wednesday morning. Max effort day. And the new workout routine's coming soon, so I'm expecting to be battling top rollers for most of the year. So, we're going to... <laughs> do some training for the straps because I like to be the straps with hot rollers. So instead of the wrist wrench where you put that band across the back of your hand, which we always advise never to do, you want to train in the straps. Get your normal weightlifting wrist straps that actually attach down where your arm wrestling strap would be. Grab your wrist wrench or your multi-spinner, whatever handle you're currently using. Wrap the strap around that like you normally would. Now, you're just using your hand normally to control the handle, but the power's coming from your wrist like it would be in the strap. This is only 40 pounds. It's still Warm up and the warm up takes a lot more time in this cold weather. I've been doing whew, as I've been practicing with Dave Chafee, I realized I'm very weak with this. Get here, keep you know, people do that to me. They pronate me out, so since that's the weak spot, I've been throwing lots of volume on that, and uh, <laughs> I'm a little sore. The whole top of my forearms are sore, so. But max every day is not so much the max you could lift on any day. It's the max you can lift that day. But we'll do more than 40. The warm up here, it takes, seems to take longer and longer. Ah. Let's see, let's try 60. Ah. Take the phone out of my pocket before I drop it. Chanshaw! Got a match with Chant Shaw coming. I don't know how much needs to be discussed or not, but the, how that match came about was I wasn't out gunning for chance. I don't really care who I pull. <sighs> A professional arm wrestler, so I arm wrestle professionally. <laughs> if I was a legacy or a progression based person or worried about rankings, then I'd pick and choose my opponents. So if you're one of those victory over excellence guys, you turn down matches or you don't take matches if you're not exactly right because you're worried about your win loss record, you're worried about your position on some rankings or I don't know, some. Something else, but if you are striving for excellence, uh, there is a peace and a grace that settles over you when you don't worry so much about who you are wrestling because you'll win some, you'll lose some as long as you're getting better. So, Steve Pettis, a friend of mine from Michigan, contacted me in the early part of the year. I don't know how high we're going to go today. Let's try 80. He runs the Michigan State Championships, which used to be a fairly small affair. I'll tell you, under Steve's leadership, man, that thing has grown into a huge event. My sister in law has never arm wrestled ever, still a tent. But he asked me if I'd pull a super match at his event. I didn't say who or what or I need to train or blah, blah, blah. I said, 
Sure. Uh, we negotiated the deal. And he said, okay, I'll get back with you for the opponent. So I agreed to it before I even had an opponent. Let's try this barehanded again. Because I think, and to be honest, if you're arm wrestling in a state tournament, it's not like you're going to pull some nail eating European out. Of course, they could have. Some of the opponents he did suggest are European. But... Oh, 80's a little rough. So, he got back to me a few weeks later and said it was chance. And I knew of chance. I pulled him once in practice. Um, down in Florida. So, that's how that match got set up. I don't know, I don't know who else Steve considered. I don't think we didn't really negotiate it. He just, uh, he just got back to me in time and said Chance was the man. Which is odd because me and Chance were still a month or so away from going to Turkey together on one of Engin's events. So, So I do get a chance to, a chance, ha <laughs> I do get an opportunity to uh, see him up close and watch him arm wrestle. Does he arm wrestled? That guy in Istanbul. Uh, and he looked good in the hook until the guy pulled him back. But the other guy just top rolled him. Start going up slower now. Um, uh, Devin contacted me and said on state kings it would be shut out stakes, which Devin usually calls and asks or messages before he sets that up. So I thought that was okay, but I checked last night, and unless I'm checking wrong, I didn't even see the match on State Kings. So maybe, maybe it won't be on State Kings. So, if it's not on State Kings, then it won't be a shutout stakes. So that gives me a little more leeway. Once again, max effort day starts at zero load. Boom, boom. You don't, you don't load it up, lock in, and wrap it out. Max effort day is deadlifting, not squatting. Whew, it's warming up. I might have came up too fast. So, I got friends in Florida that are challenging me to top roll in my match, which I would consider if they would pay a bounty, top roll bounty, <sighs> bounty hunter, I'm a bounty hunter gonna hunt you down, <sighs> top roll bounties, some of that capsaicin down here I put on my elbows. Ah, it's got heated up. Anyways, 90s are done. Um, let's see. What else about chat? I pulled him in practice in Florida a couple years ago before he was the monster he was now and he was really big on doing this, but I don't know. He didn't seem too 
hard to contain. John didn't. John pulled them odd. For me, I mean, my opinion of how John pulled them was odd. But maybe that was just you never know what's going on in John's head. John will pull people to where they feel strong, or John might have been working on something, or who knows. But John didn't just classically top roll them like he did his last match against Zola. All right, 100 pounds. After 100 pounds, it starts to count. But <laughs> this feels kind of painful already. We'll start adding the straps here pretty soon. We should be able to do 100 without it though. What else? Um, my first round, I'm just going to just try to get comfortable with him, not hit so much. Make sure I'll probably hit back and out like that. And then if he drops his wrist and comes over, at least I got those grab and hold it to contain it. If it drops into a, if it drops into a hook, I feel good. If he keeps it outside, which I expect him to do. I'll pull more defensively, but I've only got to protect my hand. I don't have to protect my elbow. I don't think there's anybody so much in North America that'll challenge my elbow. Well, maybe, maybe a Canadian. Anyways, my elbow feels good North, against North Americans, so I just really worry about my hand. Where if I was just starting out, you got, you got to protect your hands and your elbows. Not me. Just one less thing to worry about. Ugh, I can't get my feet right. Ugh. There'll be a size difference between us, but when you're an excellence over victory guy, you don't worry about weight classes. And I'm always the smallest guy anyways. Ugh, 100 pounds. What are we trying to hit today? I don't know. Um, now we think. Let's try one. Twenty. Uh, it's kind of a big jump, but I'll probably regret it. Anyway, size difference is never really much of a problem for me anyways. Even if the guy outweighs you by like a hundred or so pounds, his arm isn't a hundred pounds bigger than you. So, weight classes, well they do, weight moves weight. Brandon Allen says, mass moves mass, weight moves weight. I don't know if he invented it, but he's, that's what I heard it from. And I think that's true. I think it matters less in arm wrestling because we're using their smaller. And most people don't train correctly. Mark my words, five to 10 years from now, almost everybody's training will be based off of the system that I'm developing or developed or copied or whatever. <laughs> that was too big a jump. Uh, let's see. I'm going to pick up my chart. Uh, um, I think after a match or two, I'm expecting him to be tired. And I'll be able to grip a little bit lower. 
and cup them in. These type of top rollers are trouble for me, but if they drop their knuckles up even a little, I can slip. And then when it straps, then I've got them anchored low. So I'm not so worried about that. I'm gonna try to uh, uh, pursue that top row bounty if I can get it. Um, let's see. Of my last several matches, Corey West, Lachlan Adair, Jordan Zonev. I think Chance will be more difficult than Jordan, because Jordan was an inside puller, and my inside game is better than my outside game. Lachlan has both an inside and an outside game. His hand just wasn't where I overestimated his hand because when I pulled Ryan in Australia that time, Ryan's hand was quite a bit better than mine and Lachlan destroyed Ryan's hand. So I was more worried about that, but evidently my hand's not so bad anymore. What else are you interested in knowing? April 2nd, Kellogg Center. Battle Creek, Michigan. Sure they make cornflakes. So Kellogg's is. Back to my old ground. I got started in Michigan. George Dival. Helped me out a bunch. I knew Steve Pettis back then. I probably started running the Steve Pettis towards the end of my first year. Went to his house once when he lived in Benton Harbor. I think he's in Kentucky now. Then I went back to, where did I see? I think I drove to Kentucky. I think I'm where I first met Wes Bornson and Steve was there. <sighs> Ten on the left. <sighs> Max Upper days take a lot out of you. I'm trying to think of what else to talk about. Oh, so I think Chance will be harder for me than Lachlan. Not no. I think Chance will be harder for me than Jordan. I got to imagine Lachlan would beat Chance. 
And I suspect Corey would beat Chance quite easily. So my expectations, I'm expecting Chance to fall below Lockwood. I'm not expecting Chance to be as versatile as Lockwood could be or as good. So I'm not trying to underestimate him by no means, but that's what I'm prep for. I'm not expecting to feel the power in Chance's arm that I felt in Lachlan's. And certainly not in Corey's. Um, Corey was a big, big guy. But it's not the size of the dog in the fight. It's if one of those dogs is Todzilla. <laughs> is not quite as sexy as I was hoping. Too soon. Hold on a second. Let's see if we know how to check this. State Kings, right? Let's see. I don't have a bookmark. S whoops. S T A K. State Kings arm wrestling. State Kings. Pretty sure I checked it, but maybe it's changed. State Kings, come on! Excruciating fast. Cell connection. Paul Lynn and Ron Bath, second block. I think I like Paul Lynn a lot in that match. I just think Ron Bath might have the advantage. Michael Todd versus Robbie Topi. Left hand, nobody cares. Khalid, Josh Nell, Larry Wheels. Just, I'm just not interested in that. Ernie's Gasparini is now called the Gladiator versus Wagner. I like Ernie's in that. Gabby! Ooh, Sarah. Sarah's one of the best arm wrestlers ever. Men or women, but boy, I like Gabby. I just like Gabby. Gabby, 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 Gabby. That's it. Staking. How do I do this? Show filters. Choose player. Um, oh, there's a there's a wheel. Corey West is on here. Eddie Hall. Jonathan Pardon. Cashnell. Larry Wheels. Is it alphabetical by first or last name? Paul Lynn. Q Sarah. Maybe it's alphabetical by first name. I don't see me. Let's just type in Hutchins. I evidently cannot type it. I have to have evidently have to draw from this list. Irene, I do not see me. See, that's what I was 
wondering. Choose player. Oh, there I go. I can type. Boom. H U T. Hutchings. No options. T O D. Monster Michael Todd is sold out. Huh. I am not on State Kings. Oh. I guess just to be sure I should check I should look for chance, eh? Boom. Filters. Choose player. C H A N. Nope. No chance. Ha <laughs> ha! He's not listed. <clears throat> All right. Uh, 120. Left hand. Classic max effort day. I missed it the first time, dropped down 10 pounds. It hurt, but it went up, you know, fairly easily. But it went up at a speed it looks like I might not have any more in the tank. <laughs> you also learn, oh yeah, probably should have tried 125 because I don't think I have another rep in me. Uh, now the question. Do I try 140 or 145? I don't know if I can get to 150 today. I think we'll do 140 in the straps. Maybe we'll do 145 in the straps and then drop down five and do 145 without the straps. Just to see. Ooh, I'm running out of propane. So, bring your daughter to slaughter.
Didn't budge. Whew. <sighs> well, since we gotta try that again, let's try 120 without the straps on the left. Let's see, huh? Well, in March and October, top roller. Going to Canada, April 23rd. Jason Constantini, we're gonna do like a seminar top thing, and then <coughs> according to his poster, I'm pulling two guys. I think I'm pulling them alternating by rounds. I don't remember negotiating that. I think I remember reading it on the poster the same time everybody else did, but that could be interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Let's try 125 without the straps. You hate tying your own record. Uh. One twenty-five left-handed. I understand if you tune out this portion. If you just skip fast forward, throw the left handed. That's. full range, but I'm counting that as a 125 no strap lift. <laughs> as soon as I wrote that, my right arm started hurting because it knew exactly what was going on. It's like, my right arm goes, oh no, now it's my turn. <laughs> Shut up, arm.
Oh. I heard it. It went dick. It is not moving today. But, I mean, it's not moving this minute. It might move today. It's going to take 10 minutes or so to... All right, so we'll go back and do some wrist work on the left while we let that right arm rest a bit. I'm going to try that again, just because it, it did kind of move. Uh. Oh, 60 pounds is too much. Still hurts. <laughs> All right. We'll give her another chance anyways. Another opportunity. Not another chance. Uh. <sighs> this will be... This don't go, this will be the third failed attempt, which is usually a good a good metric on your max effort day. So if you can't if you miss something three times. I think I could have done 145 with the strap. Oh well. Uh, in about nine, ten weeks, we'll come back to this, and we'll try and add two and a half to it. Uh, so all I'm gonna finish up with is wrist work, and then reverse work, 
You guys fast forward through that anyway, so I'm not going to film it. So, April 2nd, Battle Creek, Michigan, come up, say hi to me, Kellogg Center. Bring your daughter to the slaughter.